GunNews.com. News by the Barrel. Hi, I'm Chelsea here with GunNews.com, and I'm here at the NRA show in Indianapolis. And here I have Frank DeSoma, who is the owner and CEO of, let's see, we got POF USA. Yes. So what does POF stand for? I know it stands for something. It stands, stands for Patriot Ordnance Factory. Patriot Ordnance Factory. Yeah. Okay. And what I wanted do you guys patriotism in our name. It's kind of like our logo. It's a symbol from when, like World War II, when you see on our military aircraft. It has bars. But, you know, like in World War II, when we, this nation united to fight evil and provide freedom to the world, including us, to maintain it, mm -hmm. those are symbols that mean something to me. Because united, like the Patriot, is what gave us the liberties and freedoms we have today. And I love this magazine cover you have. So let's hold this up for the camera. Yeah, it's our catalog. Yeah, your catalog. Yeah. Yeah, it's got this beautiful picture of a Patriot. Well, turn to the backside and you'll see some real art. Yeah? And you told me that's all pencil art. Right? Yes, that's pencil art. We have sculptures and then we're doing photography art too. So that's we're promoting beautiful. patriotism. That's absolutely So beautiful. it's hard to write on online mm -hmm. Patriot Ordnance Factory. <laughs> so that's why we did POF-USA.com. Well, it sparks my curiosity. So <laughs> it's doing its job. Thank you. So what do you guys make over at POF? Well, in 2002, we incorporated. In 2004, we brought out the first piston-driven uh, AR platform in the U.S. Piston-driven AR Yeah, platform? so we do a regulated short-stroke piston-operated mm -hmm. AR-15 or M-16, including AR-10 style guns. We call it the P-415 or the P-308 for the 308 model. In fact, this is a... Kind of like our warrior series, you could call it. This is what we call the war hog. It's a P415 and 556 caliber. And we have our long 14 and a half inch rail, but we actually machine into it a hog. Yeah. Like an A10 wart hog. Oh the yeah. Fighter aircraft. You can see the jaw right here. Yep. And then and the teeth. We even put the hubs on the bipod. I have never seen anything <laughs> like that. That is the coolest thing I have seen. Because what I that like. Is so cool. This is a work of art. It is. And we're trying to bring that and then to do it anyone can paint or laminate you know dip dip coating for camouflage I want to machine it in the metal this is a Ferrari it is huh or I should say this is America this is a Corvette <laughs> of the ARs it has everything you want and need wow so tell me more about it tell me about its, so, its features it's got uh, well, you told me it's got this is our technology in it. this is our gen 4 <laughs> platform and with gen 4 we went with a totally ambidextrous lower. I'm a human. I was born with two hands, so I want to hold the bolt open and show it safe and clear with two hands. I own my gun. My rifle's in my hand. I pull back. I held the open. It's clear. Okay. No ammo, right? No ammo. I could drop the bolt. I did ambidextrous features, ambidextrous bolt release, mag release, even enhanced paddle, ambidextrous selector, enhanced drop in EFP trigger, but roller cam pin, this gun is full of features, of engineered you can tell just features, but the biggest feature of all we have is the chamber feature, we call it E squared. And what is that? E squared is so simple. It's kind of like when we were in preschool. Remember that little geometry block set and you had the shapes, rounds, and triangles and oh, squares? Yeah. So that. this That's idiot funny. called Frank mm -hmm. would always grab the square peg and I would try <laughs> to hit it into the round hole. <laughs> and I actually did it. You did it? I did it in the neck of the chamber. Very so nice. E squared. <laughs> which is, that's the logo of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and we put channels the e logo. into the neck and we direct the gases. So what we're trying to do is break free the neck with gases and push on the shoulder. So we have push-pull extraction. The whole industry and everyone that builds an AR platform only has pull. 
Okay. Well, we use the gases to push. Not only that, it doesn't affect accuracy, and it's totally reloadable. The cases are totally reloadable. So literally, POF right now has a, an unfair advantage uh -huh. compared to the market right now and no what the offerings are, because this is a Corvette. And I have so the only this. way you change this Corvette is how you drive it. I drive different than yeah. you. So it's what optics or flip-up sights or dot sights you put on it. The Warhog deserves the Leopold Hog Scope. Yeah, you got that on right so, here. That's so beautiful. it goes with this platform. And in fact, I'll put a little buzz there for my buddy, Randy Lute. This is his new uh, Lute AR Precision Stock. It has adjustable cheek yeah, and butt pad. Looking. Yes, and it's a new product that he just brought on. So Randy, that's for you, buddy. <laughs> I, he's a very honorable man. I'm I sure respect him a lot. That. He used to own DPMS. DPMS? He used oh, to own yeah. it. He was the owner, huh? He sold it to the Freedom Group. Well, that's awesome. So I have a lot of good friends that have honor and integrity in the industry. That's how we need to run. I'm not trying to sell debt here. What I sell is a product. I sell a quality product. I try to engineer and give the very best value through engineering a product for the consumer to have. And I don't need to sell it and market it with smoke and mirror gimmicks. I'm gonna sell the product on its own merit. And the merits of this are pretty unbelievable. We have over 28 27 features right now. Oh wow. Look that at comes that. standard with this platform. And they all mean and do something. That's not smoking mirrors and selling it. Oh yeah, look at that. So and best of all, it? on all our products, we'll always have the American flag mm -hmm. and God bless America. Because if it wasn't for the Patriots back in the day and having Christian values that this country was founded on, I wouldn't have the liberties and freedoms I have today to create and, and chase my dreams. So all of us uniting together helps each other, allowing us the freedoms and liberties to chase those dreams. But we have to do it. If you want to get something in life, you got to work hard for you gotta it. You got to take ownership. Bingo. And responsibility. Yeah. And the best responsibility before driving a vehicle is children learning how to safely run a firearm. Because I trust a child that's learned and was respectful of handling a firearm. So when they go to drive a vehicle, which is a over a 3,000 pound weapon that kills more people each year than firearms ever do. Oh, hands down. I trust a child that's went through training and safety training like the NRA or fishing games in their hometown or their parents teaching them to respect this. So when they learn how to drive, they're a lot better driver. They're more respectful of what they're behind. So I'm, I'm thankful for a lot of things in life, including I survived the brain tumor. So I've already said goodbye wow. once. Wow, well congratulations for So what tells you it. is what tells you is America's great. If you've got passion, perseverance, and drive, you can get a taste of the American dream. And it's wonderful. You know why? Because it's called freedom. I love that. I love your message, and it seems like you have a lot of sincere, genuine confidence in this, this rifle right here. Thank so thank you. you so much for showing it to me. I love it. I love the unique design right here, <laughs> and it seems like you've got a very credible, very good company. So thank, thank you, you so, so much. much for seeing me. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. Of course. Take care. Take care. Bye. Gunnews.com. News by the barrel.